you know, I'd lived in Providence and, you know, growing up all over the area, but I never, you know, really knew what the art scene was. I mean, I come from, you know, a predominantly Puerto Rican and, you know, Dominican Cape Verdean neighborhood. Look, there's, the art there is different than the art in downtown Providence or in Barrington, you know what I mean? That's the thing about art, like it transcends through every community, you know? As a kid, I, I used to paint signs for like bodegas and stuff like that, you know? Like bag of rice, can of beans. Coming from like, you know, the Latino community, it like art is not a reality, you know? Like you say, oh, I'm gonna be an artist. People are like, what are you talking about? Are you out of your mind? I'm definitely a New Englander, you know what I mean? <laughs> I tend to like the, the community outside of the art community, you know what I mean? It's a, you know, a little more real. I, you know, living on the West End, it was great and everything, but it's like, you know, certain areas of the West End, there's no little kids running around. It's like, it's not a neighborhood, you know what I mean? It's just like, people come in, they go to work, then they go back and, you know, it's like rat race, you know? I like, I like having the kids in the neighborhood running around, you know what I mean? The old guy across the street, Tell me what to do with my lawn, you know, whatever. Come here, come up here. So this cat, we got him and he put on like 50 pounds. <laughs> and uh, Alicia was freaking out. She's like, there's something wrong with him. So she brought him to the vet and the, the vet grabs the cat by the gun. He goes, he's fat, that'll be $50. <laughs> this right here is actually, a commission that I'm doing for this restaurant downtown called Bravo, and it's like, it's huge. It doesn't fit anywhere else in my house, so the kitchen sort of become a makeshift studio. But there's uh, some local yokels and uh, a couple of people. The mayor, Buddy Cianti's over there, hanging out. Probably gonna do a good job on his portrait, huh? <laughs> I, as an artist, have always had trouble like explaining my artwork to people. Some of it's pretty, some of it's pretty out there, you know, and I'm like, when you're an artist, you're your biggest self-critic, you know what I mean? You, you, you don't like what you're doing, this and that, and it's always you. It's always you against you. Essentially, I think that, you know, you, even when you're making art for somebody else, it's always for you, you know what I mean? Eventually, I'm gonna build a studio in the backyard and uh, make it happen, but... I work in a lot of different mediums because, uh, I don't know, it just pops into my head. I just, uh, I get an idea, go out and buy the supplies and start working on it. Like before this, I never even worked with oils, oil pastels or anything like that. Rhode Island is a, it's full of kooky artists, you know what I mean? It's like a magnet. And it's like, you go to other places and you're like, well, there's nothing happening, you know? After I moved into AC20, for me, it sort of put like a, a sort of a tangible, you know, like a real feeling of oh, maybe this is possible, you know, seeing people in like every aspect, like filmmakers and actors and performance artists. And I mean, and it took a while for me to figure, to me to figure it all out, like performance art. Like, yeah, I'd never seen, you know, I'm like, what the, what the hell is wrong with these people? Like, what are they doing? I'm like, I, I don't get it. You know, like different groups like Frodus and, and uh, even like the original ASU 20, like Meatballs Fluxus, these guys are dancing around with liver hanging out of their mouth. You know, I'm like, what, the, what is this about? You know, like, what? You know. Have you ever done any performance art? No. <laughs> Negative. <laughs> I think that programs like Broad Street and, you know, New York and Arts and all these art programs are kind of filling the void for, you know, for kids because, like, because of budget cuts and whatever, you know, or for whatever reason, because people don't respect it, like kids aren't getting art in, in, in school. A place like Broad Street, a kid comes in, you know, with a goal and whatever, and, and, and is able to realize these things, you know? I mean, it's more than just the artwork. I mean, we, we show these kids how to build a portfolio, put together a resume, you know, go out there and find jobs and things like that, you know, apply to colleges through the work that they've done here. It's sort of strengthening their portfolio, you know, these things 
these possibilities become a reality, you know what I mean? So. I think the fact that we are younger, you know, helps, you know? I think the fact that I'm, that, that I'm coming from where they come from and they see where, where I'm at and sort of, you know, look at the work I do and see the work that I do, it kind of, it makes it more real, you know what I mean? I, I, I never knew any artists until I, I came to ASC 20, you know what I mean? Or came to Providence and was like looking around, you know what I mean? Like there's no, there's no artists in, you know, sort of Falls of Pawtucket or whatever that I mean, you know? In the same ways that this sort of this environment benefited me, I'm sure that they benefit from it. You know what I mean? They kind of see everything, and the, just the fact, you know, what I mean, it's it's like that. It's that commonality. They're like, oh, this guy's from where I'm from, and, and oh. he's doing it. So why can't I? You know? You want to cast the face and then use the strips as the actual actual. Yeah, the actual as, as if it's being pressed on the wall. You know okay, so you're not gonna you're not gonna you're not gonna do the plastic cast, right? Oh, no, I don't know. All right, so you just want to do the, the, just the actual... Just stuff. Yeah, we can do that. Right. I mean, who, who knows? I mean, who, who really knows why they do this stuff? It's like something pops into your head. You're like, you know, oh, I got I, I to gotta do this, you know? When you're an artist, it's like, it's like I, it's not I can't. It's like, it's like I'm gonna or I want to. No, everything's constant. Like, like, like a film, you know what I mean? There's There's a strip of images and it's going through your head and it's like every now and then one stops and you're like, okay, that's what I'm going to do next. I mean, there is no on off. I, I'm thinking about every project I'm working on at, you know, almost all the time. Even in my sleep, I talk in my sleep. I work on stuff in my sleep, you know? I've always like kind of like just looked at people and like, oh, whatever. And people are like, hey, that guy's a Latino artist or whatever. Or uh, Somebody said to me once, it's like, you, you you painted a lot of, you know, African-American people or black people, you know, in your show, but you're not black. I thought you were a black artist. And I'm like, Whoa, what's the difference? You know what I'm saying? You know? It's like, you know, I come from a mestizo race, you know what I mean? You know, this is African, Indian, and Spaniard, you know? And I don't think that actually defines what kind of artist I am, you know, or, or, uh, or it's like the base that I start with, you know what I mean? I don't set out to create Latino or American or Hispanic or Indian or black art. I just make art, you know? And my art is influenced, you know, by, you know, the inner city, you know? You know, urban, hip hop. My art is hip hop, you know what I mean? My, my art is salsa. My art is, you know, the rice and beans, you know? It's everything just thrown into this. It's, it's an amalgamation of all these things that have come together. And, and where it's going, I, I don't know. And, uh, you know, I don't, I, I don't know if I'll, you know, eventually be, you know, successful enough, you know, so that I can just make art and, and, and that's it, you know what I mean? But I'm not afraid of picking up a shovel and taking a construction job either. But I figure, you know what, the time is here and now, and I'm going to ride this till the wheels fall off, you know?